everyone, this is Heather from Buffering Saints. Welcome to my channel. I am a wife, mother, teacher, and Catholic convert, and I like to talk about Catholic things that interest me. I am in my dining room because I couldn't I couldn't find my ring lights, which is annoying because my ring light is not small <laughs> and my house is not big. So I have no idea where my ring light is and I really just think the devil didn't want me to make this video and I told him I was gonna make it anyway. So here I am. I wanted to talk about the brown scapular, which is this. I wear my brown scapular every day, but I have them all around because, just in case. Um, so this is a brown scapular. I did a video on this last year about kind of the history of the brown scapular and Our Lady of Mount Carmel because Our Lady of Mount, Car Our Lady of Mount Carmel is my consecration day. So I really love the brown scapular in Our, in Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And I talk about it in that video and I'll have it linked down below. But in that video, I talk about the kind of like the promises of the brown scapular and the history of the brown scapular. So if you want to know that information, go check that out after this video. I watched that video a couple of days ago because I wanted to make sure I wasn't repeating myself too much. And I think I was sick or something because my voice sounds weird. Or maybe I just always sound like that. I don't know. So just kind of like quickly. The brown scapular was given to St. Simon's Stock in on July 16th, which is the feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel, which is next Tuesday. Our Lady of Mount Carmel appeared to St. Simon's Stock on that day, according to tradition, and gave him the brown scapular and said, take beloved son, this scapular of thy order, which is the Carmelites, as a badge of my confraternity and for thee and all Carmelites, a special sign of grace, whoever dies in this garment will not suffer everlasting fire. It is the sign of salvation, a safeguard in dangers, a pledge of peace and of the covenant. So she told him this as she gave it to him and that's on most brown scapulars. There really isn't like a, uh, like rules for how a brown scapular should look. It basically just needs to be two pieces of brown or black wool attached together that you can hang on your shoulders. I usually have hit mine hidden under my shirt, but for the purpose of this video, I have it out, even though you can't really see it. Anyway, so on most of the brown scapulars, scapulars that I have seen, it'll say a sign of salvation, Our Lady of Mount Carmel to Simon Stock. So it shows like Our Lady giving it to, to Simon Stock and on the other side, usually it says, um, whosoever, dies in, who, who's, whosoever dies closed in this scapular shall not suffer eternal fire. The scapular promise of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Like I said, there's not like a rule that that has to be on there or anything like that, because if you go to Instagram and you like search brown scapulars, there are so many people who make like Catholic artisans who make such beautiful scapulars. They have really pretty ones that they like make and I think that's awesome. July 16th in 1251 is the day that Our Lady gave St. Simon Stock the brown scapular and then from there obviously the Carmelites wore the brown scapular and it spread to the laity um, because of you know the promise, the Marian promise attached to the scapular. I think that some, even some Catholics kind of think that this brown scapular is like outdated or kind of just like an old pious tradition. It's not really that like useful, but that is not true because there have been so many saints that talk about the brown scapular who have worn the brown scapular. Um, Pope St. John Paul II, he never took his off. I think it's important to note too that at Fatima, Our Lady of Fatima, she showed up at Fatima obviously as our Lady of Fatima. She also showed up as Our Lady of the Rosary and she appeared to the three children as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So in 1917, when Our Lady of Fatima, when all those operations were happening, Our Lady of Mount Carmel appeared then in 1917 as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. 
she appeared to the children. So I don't think, like that's not long ago. That was only 102 years ago. Our lady still wants us to wear the brown scapular, even though she first gave it to St. Simon's Lock in, in the year 1251. She appeared as recently as 1917 as Our Lady of Mount Carmel. So I think that goes to show how important it is for Catholics to wear the brown scapular. Lucia, who was one of the children at at Fatima that she appeared to, even said when she was being interviewed about it, said that the scapular and the rosary are inseparable. You cannot separate the two. That reason is, I'll go over that in a minute with uh, something that St. John Paul II says, is that when if you're wearing the brown scapular, you are like deepening your prayer life, you're going to, you're going to communion, you're staying close to the sacraments. So the brow scapular and the rosary are inseparable. She also said the scapular is a sign of consecration to Our Lady. So I know there's a group of ladies who are doing the consecration to Mary right now and they are finishing. We are, because I'm doing it too, I'm re-consecrating myself. We're finishing on the day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And wearing a scapular is a sign of your Marian consecration. So ladies, if you're doing it, get a brown scapular and wear it as a sign of your consecration. Lucia again said, while she was being interviewed, Our Lady wants all to wear the brown scapular. So it's not just like a pious thing. It's something that Our Lady wants us to do. She wants Catholics to wear the brown scapular. Some things that other saints have said about it, I mentioned St. John Paul, it's a long like quote, so bear with me while I read through it. He, he wrote this to people who wear the brown scapular. He said, therefore, two truths are evoked by the sign of the scapular. On the one hand, the constant protection of the Blessed Virgin, not only on life's journey, but also at the moment of passing into the fullness of eternal glory on the other. The awareness that devotion to her cannot be limited to prayers and tributes in her honor on certain occasions. It must become a habit. A scapular is, that's like, this is a mini habit, like that nuns wear, it's a mini habit. That is a permanent orientation of one's own Christian conduct woven of prayer and interior life. Through frequent reception of the sacraments and the concrete practice of the spiritual and corporal works of mercy. In this way, the scapular becomes a sign of the covenant and reciprocal communion between Mary and the faithful. Indeed, it concretely translates that the gift of his mother, which Jesus gave on the cross to John and through him to all of us and the entrustment of the beloved apostle and of us to her who became our spiritual mother. So that's what St. John Paul says about wearing the broad scapular. It's not just wearing it as a fashion statement. I mean, this thing isn't like that cute where you're like, oh, I have to have my brown scapular on to match this outfit. It doesn't match most of the things that I wear, but I wear it every day anyway. It's like a living prayer as you wear it. The thing that Our Lady told St. Dominic was one day through the rosary and the scapular, I will save the world. So she wants us to wear the scapular and pray the rosary every day. I love this story about the scapular. I think he's blessed. I just what I just saw it. I think he's blessed. I don't think he's a saint yet. I can't find it right now, but I think he's blessed or venerable. He's not a saint yet, but he is the brother of St. John of the Cross. And they he lived until 1852, so this is not that long ago either in the grand scheme of things. It's not that long ago. His, he was wearing, he wore his scapular and it fell off somehow and he went to go put it back on and he heard a demon or de the devil like shouting as he was putting it on don't put that on what did it say uh take off that habit which snatches so many souls from me he was putting it on and he heard the devil say this to him he asked he put it on he was like oh, i'm putting my scapular on um, no, <laughs> but he put it on and then he asked them the three things that especially torment you and he and he said the first is the holy name of Jesus The second is the holy name of Mary and the third the brown scapular of Mount Carmel Now I I think easily that the rosary could be added to this list very easily But I just think that if demons are afraid of the brown scapular if saints have told us The importance of wearing the brown scapular if Mary has told us the importance of wearing the brown scapular we should be wearing the brown scapular and we should do it with with uh, integrity and we should wear it as a prayer so 
I do want to mention real quick, really quickly, that the official church teachings on wearing the brown scapular, there is no official church teachings. Like the church doesn't say you have to wear a brown scapular. This is completely a private devotion that you can have if you so choose. I, I, and the saints <laughs> and Mary strongly encourage you to wear a brown scapular, but the but it's not a sin or anything if you don't wear one. I think it would probably just provide you with some extra graces to help you along the way. Um, but the official church standing on the scapular is that it is a sign that we belong to Mary and of her maternal protection in this life and the next. It is a sign of belonging to the Carmelite family, of consecration and trust in Mary, and an incentive to imitate Our Lady's virtues, especially humility, chastity, and prayerfulness. So. That is why I think everybody should wear a brown scapular. All you have to do to get enrolled in brown scapular, I'll have a link down below, is print out this prayer script. Print it out, take it to a priest. So make an appointment, whatever you have to do to go to your priest or an ordained deacon. Take it to him. All you need is your scapular. He needs some holy water, that's it. So you just go, just make a meeting with your priest and have him read this. I think you respond back a few things and that's it and you're enrolled in the brown scapular con fraternity so definitely definitely go do that um i will also have i think i have have it already in all my videos links is a link to the Am to amazon for the brown scapular because i think i think that's how important that is buy a brown scapular make an appointment get enrolled and that is all for my video today have a blessed day pray for me and i will pray for you guys uh yeah that's it bye